Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org, and on this episode of HeadFi TV, we're going to look at the Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold and a bunch of headphones that work exceptionally well with it. A couple years ago here on HeadFi TV, I reviewed a headphone audio system that I felt was one of the best in the world and still feel it to be the case. We're talking about the Woo Audio WES and the Stax SR009 electrostatic headphone. I've since heard the SR009 with a couple of other electrostatic headphone amps, and I have to say I still feel it to be one of the best, perhaps the best sounding headphone in the world overall, for my tastes anyway. So looking back at all the HeadFi TV videos we've done, I noticed we haven't really been doing a lot of system reviews. And so I decided, you know, every once in a while when we come across a really special system, a really cool system, whether portable or desktop, maybe every once in a while we should review the system. And that's what I want to do today. I want to tell you about a system that I've heard you're looking at it right here. It's the Abyss AB1266 headphones and the uh, Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold, as well as some of these other headphones, but we'll get to those later, that to me constitutes this, two, these, this pairing here, one of the best systems I've heard in a long, long time. Now, before I get into the system with the Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold here, I wanted to quickly talk about the founder of Cavalli Audio, Alex Cavalli. Um, Alex is a longtime member of the HeadFi community, and he donated a lot of designs like Kevin Gilmore, like Jan Meyer and some others. He's donated designs to the DIY community so that DIYers could make their own amps based on his design for free, free to use. And I think that's really a cool thing to do. Now like Jan Meyer when he started Meyer Audio, Cavalli started Cavalli Audio, so a, a company to build commercial offerings of his design and the Liquid Gold is one of them. Now he has other amplifiers, but this is the one, the only one of all the Cavalli amps that I've had a chance to actually live with for a while. And yeah, it's fantastic, and that's why we're doing this video. Back in 2009, planar magnetic headphones kind of made their resurgence. Uh, you know, it's a technology that's been around for decades, but it was in 2009 when they made their big comeback in the audiophile community, uh, particularly with Hi Fi Man and Odyssey. Strangely, both companies releasing new planar magnetic offerings the same year, like high end offerings, and they've only since gotten better at it. So their headphones have only gotten better. Now last year, Abyss Headphones, uh, founded by the guys who, who founded uh, JPS Labs, uh, created the Abyss Headphones AB1266, this planar magnetic headphone here, this medieval looking headphone. And I heard it at Can Jam at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest uh, 2012, and I thought it was good. But when they told me that it was gonna sell for around $5,500, you know, I just didn't think good was good enough. So I thought it sounded good, but for $5,500, Again, good just wasn't good enough. Well, this year they contacted me and said there had been substantial improvements made on its way to becoming a production headphone. So they wanted me to hear it. And I've heard it. And they weren't lying. I think the Abyss AB1266, uh, when paired with amplifiers that pair with it well, is one of the best headphones out there right now, period. Um, and so uh, I like it so much I bought it. So I've been using it uh, so far with the Shit Audio Mjolnir. Uh, and the Hi-Fi Man EF6. Um, and those are both relatively affordable amplifiers. Been really happy with the systems. Didn't think I'd really want to start looking for amps. And then Cavalli Audio asked if I wanted to try the Liquid Gold, knowing that I had uh, the Abyss headphones and saying that uh, I might want to hear this. Uh, I was a bit reluctant because here's the thing. The, uh, the Liquid Gold's like 6,450 bucks. So I was a bit reluctant. Perfectly happy with my Mjolnir and my EF6, but I agreed to it. So they sent it, and I plugged in the Abyss AB1266, and I got to tell you, I was absolutely blown away. The other amps with the Abyss are very, very good, Ex excellent. Um, but the, the liquid gold with the Abyss 12, AB1266 is just simply, again, one of the best headphone systems I've heard in a long time, and one of the best I've heard, period. Again, I've heard the AB1266 by Abyss with other headphone amps, um, and, and it's very special even with those. I love the headphone. It's just that with this amp, again, the Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold, that it's just, it's just even more special. And again, to the point where it's one of the best headphone systems maybe I've ever heard. Uh, what, what about them makes it so special? Well, I think when we're buying high-end audio gear, we're looking for certain aspects of sound, right? Things that we want it to do well, and then we just kind of collect all those aspects into the whole. And those things include, but certainly aren't limited to, things like frequency response. Does it have good extension going both ways? Uh, does it have good presence in the mids? Uh, is, is, is the sound stage expansive, pre precise in terms of image placement? 
is the macrodynamic energy strong and explosive? Is the microdynamic uh, presentation delicate, gossamer? And you take like all those things and it kind of becomes the one thing that you're looking for. And every one of these headphones with the amps that drive them well and certainly with liquid gold does a very phenomenal job of those things, all of those in combination. It's just that this particular pairing does it better than anything else I have here. I don't have the SR009 here right now. I can't compare it directly. I can say this is in the class. So is all this stuff when they're driven ideally, but this is just a really amazing system and the best I've got here right now. This has the ability to convey, for example, macrodynamic energy, the big explosive energy, phenomenally well. Think Mahler, think the big stuff, awesome. Uh, the delicate stuff, chamber orchestra, um, solo piano, which is very delicate notes. Once again, this does it so well and conveys it so well. The imaging, though not as expansive and big as some of my other headphones, um, is very precise and is very physical. And that's the one thing I really want to mention about this system. The sonic images that it presents are so physical to me. The way it sounds, I feel like there's something uh, physical that I can touch and feel. Um, that there's the presence of something physical going on. That's the best way I can put it. I'm trying to, to convey something that's so hard to convey on video. I just Because what I want to do is just put it on your head and go, see, you know, <laughs> don't you hear it? But it's hard to actually to communicate this to you, but I'm trying. Uh, we're not at a meet, so, uh, so anyway, so bear with me. But th there's that physical sense of the image. And I think that's one of the things about this system and more with the liquid gold than any other amp I've tried with the Abyss that it conveys. So that's the best way I think I can explain. I hope I'm, I'm doing a decent job of what makes this system so special. I can say this, though. Um, I have heard, again, the SR009 on several occasions since. And that's one thing it just can't do as well as this in the times I've heard it is convey that physicality, that physical sense of you being in the presence of a physical something that this system does. That much I can say. All right, so enough about the abyss the $5,500 Abyss. Let's talk about super affordable headphones like these. I'm just joking. It's just that anything looks affordable <laughs> next to a $5,500 Abyss. These are actually quite expensive. Um, but uh, I'm, so I'm teasing. How do the other planar magnetics, how do other headphones in general work with the liquid gold? And the answer is, so far, actually quite well, with exceptions I'll get to in a minute. So as far as headphones like the Sennheiser HD 800, this is not a planar magnetic headphone. It's a dynamic headphone. Um, and, and in my opinion, one of the best ever made. Uh, certainly, technically, it is one of the best headphones, period. And uh, it pairs well with the Liquid Gold. I don't know that I'd recommend, however, if it's your only headphone, the Liquid Gold, as the one amp to pair with it. For $6,450, I don't know that it's the best buy at all, actually, for the Sennheiser HD 800 alone. But if you have a lot of planar magnetic headphones in your collection, then you got to start seriously looking, if assuming that price is something you could even consider. Then you have to start looking at the liquid gold because, again, relative to any other headphone amp, I've just not had anything that breathes the life in the planar magnetic headphones the way this does. And I can't explain why. I don't know what about it that does. It is a very powerful amplifier. Again, it's a, by the way, if I didn't already mention, it is a fully balanced headphone amplifier. It does have single-ended inputs and two sets of balanced inputs. And then it has balanced output and single-ended input on the front. It has dual three-pin, single four-pin, and then quarter-inch jacks in these combo uh, jacks. So I just wanted to mention that real quick. So you can run single-ended, but it's fully balanced. You don't buy this and not run it balanced, just so you know. So there you go, run it balanced. But uh, with these other headphones, again, it just breathes awesome life into planers, and I'm not sure why. Um, uh, I don't think it's just power. I mean, I think it's just a synergy. It works. So if you're running high-end planers by Odyssey and Hi-Fi Man, um, yeah, I would probably seriously consider this, assuming $6,450 is not just completely out of the question for you. Oh, I wanted to quickly go over Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold build quality. From what I can tell, it's built beautifully. The chassis pieces, the chassis panels are all very thick, very well put together. The seams are tight. Uh, the front panel is thick and has this really beautiful curve that's kind of in reverse to what I'm used to seeing. And it's a really neat effect. I haven't seen it on any other amp. It makes a nice sharp corner around the top. It's a really beautiful appearance, uh, the way the front panel was implemented. The finish is a matte black. It's actually one of the hardest uh, components I've ever had in terms of photographing it. It's very difficult to get a good photograph of because it's very matte black. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, even in a fairly well-lit room, but that sort of stealth look is gorgeous. But again, the build quality is stunning. 
I think it's quite obvious by now, I'm very impressed by the Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold, by the Abyss AB1266, the way the Liquid Gold drives these other high-end planar magnetic headphones. But what are some caveats I might have about these pieces? Well, first of all, it's price. So I already own the Abyss AB1266. But by the time you pair it with the $6,450 Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold, you're looking at just under $12,000. Now that gets you into the price range of the high-end electrostatic rigs, and it's just a lot of money regardless of what you're doing with it. Um, but that gets you into high-end electrostatic rig uh, uh, price range with the Stax SR009 paired with high-end headphone amps, electrostatic amps by Headamp, Ray Samuels Audio, Eddie Current, uh, Woo Audio, and even Cavalli's own electrost uh, electrostatic headphone amp, the Liquid Lightning. So price is my single biggest caveat. It's really, really expensive, both of these pieces. And at $64.50, the liquid gold is definitely on the high end of headphone amplifier pricing. The Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold is also, for $6,450, not the most versatile headphone amplifier. So the high price doesn't necessarily buy you versatility. It's great at driving the headphones we talked about, and I'm sure you can think of some other headphones it's great at driving. Uh, but if you have a lower impedance, uh, high sensitivity headphone and you plug it in, you might actually dive into the noise floor of this amp. It's not really made to drive sensitive headphones. It's made to drive, well, headphones like these that aren't necessarily always hugely difficult to drive, but they're not the easiest loads either. Because with any of the headphones that we've covered so far, I'm not getting noise, but when I've plugged an in-ear into it, why on earth would you plug an in-ear into the Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold? But, you know, I'm going to try it, and I get noise. Uh, there is a noise floor that you're diving into with something that's sensitive, uh, but it's not made for that. Um, with a sensitive, closed, portable over-ear type of thing, you might also get noise. In fact, I have, but it's not made for that. So you're not buying versatility. You're buying an amp that is just exceptionally good at driving certain kinds of headphones, but doesn't give you the versatility to drive all headphones. That's, that's the compromise. So that's another caveat I wanted to mention. So someone's bound to ask me, am I going to buy the Liquid Gold? Uh, as I mentioned, it's so good with the Abyss AB1266, which I did buy with these other planar magnetics. So the, there's no question I want one. I want it bad, actually. But uh, Cavalli needs this particular unit back for an audio show. And I think that's good that it's going to give me time to think about it because it's $6,450. And my lifestyle is definitely more mobile right now than it is stationary. So I'm not usually sitting in one place for any really long time, which this amp really is very heavy, runs quite hot. Um, you're not going to be moving this around. Um, and you're more likely to find a headphone like this. Uh, this is the Sennheiser HD26 or an in-ear monitor, a custom in-ear monitor in or over my ears than you are you know, a headphone like even like my Abyss or like my LCDs or my Hi-Fi Mans because, again, I'm more on the go. So it becomes harder for me to say, hey, I'm going to spend $6,450 on the amp. But I'm seriously considering it, and I know I want it. So for you, I'll recommend it. If it's in your budget range and if you're driving planers and especially if you have a, an Abyss AB1266, it's, it's an easy recommendation, again, if it fits into your budget. I know I want one. And, uh, and I'll be thinking about it. So right now, what am I going to do with my Abyss? Well, after I've hopefully gotten this out of my memory for a while, uh, I'm going to go back and very happily to my shit audio Mjolnir, which is uh, $749. Um, again, it's a very good combo with the Abyss AB1266. Uh, and uh, a Hi-Fi Man EF6, which is about, I think, $1,600. Uh, again, another good combo with the Abyss. Uh, doesn't, neither really has the magic of the liquid gold. I'm going to miss you, Liquid Gold, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, um, uh, maybe you'll come back. We'll see. Uh, but, yeah, so if it's in your budget, I highly recommend it. But that's a big if. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Cavalli Audio Liquid Gold, a little bit about the Abyss AB1266 and these other cool planers, um, and we'll see you next time.